so today's topic for our lecture is related to hydraulic brake system for that purpose i want to share my screen so first we see what is braking Braking is the action of stopping the running vehicle. That is, action of braking is done by using the brakes. In brake, the kinetic energy due to motion of the vehicle is dissipated in the form of heat energy due to friction between moving parts. That is, between wheel drum and brake shoe. Okay, so <clears throat> when we apply to brake, then some action must be there, and that action becomes uh, stopping the running vehicle. Do and for for applying the force or for for uh, getting the movement here we need to apply some type of force here in case of cars we apply the brake pedal and through our uh, legs we apply the force on the brake pedal function of brake there are two main functions of brakes to slow slow down or stop the vehicle in the shortest possible time at the time of need this is the main. Function of the brake to control the speed of vehicle at turns and also at the time of driving down on hill slope. So, if we want to turn our vehicle, then if we not reduce the speed, then accident may happen. Okay, so to avoid that, uh, we apply the brakes. Also, when we come from the hill region towards the lower direction, lower side, so here. The slope is very high, and due to that, a uh, large amount of kinetic energy is available with vehicle, and so here we must apply the brakes. Classification of brakes on the basis of method of actuation: foot brakes are there, and hand brakes are there. These are the two types according to the method of actuation. On the basis of mode of operation, mechanical brakes are there, hydraulic brakes are there, air brakes are there. In case of air brakes, that is vacuum brakes are there, electric brakes are available. So all these are the types according to the mode of operation. On the basis of method of application of braking contact, so internal and external, these are the two different modes of application of braking contact. Internally contact connected, that is expanding brakes. This comes under the uh, mode of application of braking contact and externally. That is contracting brakes. This is the types. Now we see what is the hydraulic brake system. Hydraulic braking system is the system which is used hydraulic fluid to build up the pressure for braking action. So in case of hydraulic system, we must use hydraulic, that is oil. We must use oil and system. So when that oil moves according to that, pressure is created on different objects. History, if we see the history, Fred Dustenberg originated hydraulic brakes in 1914. Then in 1918, Malcolm Lafide uh, developed full hydraulic braking system. Principles of working, hydraulic brakes work on the principle of Pascal's law. Now we'll see what is Pascal's law. So here, it states that pressure at on incompressible fluid is equal in on direction all directions so if we consider the fluid which is incompressible two different types of fluids are available that is compressible fluid and incompressible fluid compressible fluid means if gaps are pre present in that fluid then ap after applying the force that gaps gets fill out and uh, no movement takes place okay so that is incompressible or uh, sorry, compressible fluid. And in case of incompressible fluid, no gaps are present in between that fluid. And if we apply the force, that is not possible to uh, compress that fluid. So consider 100 pounds force is applied here. And this is piston A, this is piston B. So if we apply 100 pounds, then how much it goes in upward direction, it goes 100 pounds in upward direction. Okay, and here balance takes place.
Now next, that is types of hydraulic brakes. There are two different types of hydraulic braking system. First is expanding drum type hydraulic brake and second is this type hydraulic brake. If we see the types, different components in this diagram. So this is drum brake, is wheel cylinder, brake shoes is available, this is brake booster is available, then master cylinder is available here. This is the disc brake location inside the wheel here or uh, near to the wheel. Here disc brake location is provided. This is brake shoe. This orange portion and this green portion is, is shows brake shoes. This is wear indicator. Then this is inner brake pad, outer brake pad, and this is brake disc. So all these are the types of hydraulic brakes. If we see the components of drum type brake system, then components becomes master cylinder is available, then backing plate is available there, brake drum is available, wheel cylinder is available, then brake shoe and return springs. So these are the components of drum type brake system. So if we see drum brake in this diagram, so different components are present like brake cylinder is present, then piston is present here, emergency brake mechanism is present, then brake shoe is present here, adjuster mechanism is available here. And here, this is to emergency brake lever. This is the cable and this is the drum. So these are the components of drum type brakes. If we see next, that is master cylinder. In case of master cylinder, uh, the master cylinder is heart of hydraulic braking system. So it pressurizes the braking fluid, which is in reservoir uh, to actuate the wheel cylinder for braking action. So uh, this master cylinder actuates the uh, that cylinder. And through that cylinder, the force is acting. Tandem master cylinder, this is the diagram of tandem master cylinder. Tandem master cylinder is latest development in hydraulic braking system. It reduces the risk of brake failing. These are two different sections in tandem master cylinder for pressurize the brake fluid. If we see backing plate, backing plate is a base for other component. Like this diagram this is the backing plate, wheel cylinder, brake shoe parking brake mechanism are mounted on each so all these type of brakes uh, sorry th these components are arranged on this backing plate it should be strong and wear resistant so these are the features related to braking plate then next is brake drum this is called as brake drum if we see this diagram according to this figure drum is rotated with wheel and axle Okay, so drum is rotated along with wheel and as well as axle. Then brake shoe are pressed against the brake drum as brake applied. It is heat conductive. If we see wheel cylinder, this is the diagram of wheel cylinder. There is a separate wheel cylinder for each wheel. For each wheel, different wheel cylinders are available. Its function is to exert a force on the brake shoe. Okay, on brake shoe, it applies the, or exerts the force. It consists of two pistons, one on each side. So two pistons are also available and which is provided on one piston uh, on one side and another piston on another side. Next is brake shoe. There are two brake shoe for each wheel. And we consider these are the two brake shoes. Friction material is at outer lining of the brake shoe. It should be heat and wear resistant. If we see the next type, that is the next component becomes return spring. Return spring pull the brake shoe back as brake pedal is released.
The next is working of drum type hydraulic brake. See this diagram. Paddle is attached with the cylinder, and that uh, one pipe is shown. That pipe is connected to the cylinder again, and after that, uh, two arrows are shown, and fluids which is uh, transmitted towards the both direction here. In this way, action takes place. Brake pedal press. Okay, when brake pedal gets pressed here, this is arrow. We press the weight brake pedal. Brake fluid pressure is in master cylinder. So brake fluid which is available in the cylinder, which is provided to the master cylinder. Pressurized fluid is traveled through hose pipes. This pressurized fluid is transmitted through this hose pipe. This is called a hose pipe. The next is piston is in wheel cylinder or actuate and press brake shoe against wheel drum. Due to brake, due to friction, due to friction between brake shoe and wheel drum braking action performed. Component of this type hydraulic braking system. So this brake type, these are the two components that is brake pad is provided, caliper is available here, the rotor, in this part is called as rotor, in this is called as hub, this is wheel attachment. Then next is brake rotor, brake caliper, brake pad. Brake rotor, it is component against which It is component against which brake pad is applied. The brake rotor is made of gray iron or special alloy. It rotates with wheel, hole or drill on brake rotor for heat dissipation. Brake pad, if you consider the brake pad, brake pad is a frictional component of disc brake. Generally, there are two brake pad per caliper in disc brake. It is placed in front of caliper piston. And brake caliper is the another thing. It is assembly which house the brake pad and piston. It is made from plastic, aluminum, or chrome plated steel. Two different types of fixed and floating calipers are available. Then uh, this is the sequence of operation again. Brake pedal press, then brake fluid pressurized in master cylinder. Pressurized fluid is traveled through the hose pipe. This is from pressurized fluid press brake pad against the brake rotor. Due to, due to friction between brake pad and brake rotor action is performed. Pulse used in hydraulic brake system. So different types of pulse are available. First is proportionating wall or equalizer wall. Second is pressure differential wall. Third is Combination wall. Next is brake fluid. Brake fluid is typical type of fluid which use in hydraulic brake system. Brake fluid is incompressible. Glycol, ether, cluster oil, mineral oil are example of brake fluid. Characteristics of brake fluid becomes a boiling point, viscosity, corrosion resistance, compressibility. These are the characteristics of brake fluid. Advantages and disadvantages of hydraulic brakes. If we see the advantages, equal braking action on all wheels, increased braking force, low wear rate of braking lining, increased mechanical advantage and better stopping power than the other brakes. These are the advantages. If we see the disadvantages, whole braking system fails due to leakage of fluid from brake linings. The next is complex construction is there, more maintenance than other systems. If we see the application, automotive brake, the hydraulic braking system is used in car, Jeep, mini trucks, in buses. So in this way, we finish our today's lecture. Thank you.